everyone and welcome back to my channel today you'll have to excuse how i look i've hardly got any makeup on um having a bit of a chilled one today a bit of a housework day you know a bit of filming i thought i'd just come on and do my updated horror collection um i've been meaning to do it for a little while now but i just haven't got around to it there is a few new figures in my collection that i wanted to come on and show you all so that is what we're doing today but as always before we get into today's video if you're new here welcome please feel free to subscribe if you love anything horror true crime or spooky this is definitely the channel for you and also be sure you're turning on those notification bells so you never miss me on your screen so we're literally going to dive straight into the video today i'm not mucking about we're not playing today um so the first item which is a new one in my collection is this house of a thousand corpses dr satan um i actually only got him literally the weekend just gone um and i need like two one or two more to complete the whole collection um you you guys have seen these before um i've got like baby firefly captain spalding and otis driftwood so i had to get him at for the love of horror he was only 25 pound from the store mad about horror which is an online store i do also attend the conventions around the area but i always like to go and support him and buy something every year from him a lot of my horror stuff is from mad about horror i really love these figures because they come with a lot of um little like accessories so i believe it's like an oxygen tank and the drill from house of a thousand corpses but these are all still in the box most of my horror figures are in their box as you all know also side note i say this on a lot of my videos if i'm looking past you like this because i'm looking at what i'm doing i'm not just like wandering off with my eyes i'm literally looking at how i'm holding the figure not that i think you all give a crap about that but anyway next so the next figure is from the company necker they are a great collectible um shop for all of these but they don't just sell through NECA these are on Amazon you can get these again at the conventions normally traders will have these if they're selling figures I got mine in a local shop thing in my town there's a man who does like retro toys he does also sometimes have some horror stuff there and he is the one who I got my Tiffany doll off which the video is up of Tiffany I'm not going to show her today because you guys have probably already seen her. When I got Tiffany, I also got my ghost face figure. I've literally been wanting this for so long. Again, these figures come with a lot of um, interchangeable things so like the heads, things like that. There's like an assortment of knives in there. A little teeny tiny voice box is in there as well. He's got like a massive, it's almost like the Grim Reaper um axe thing he has not come out of the box some of my neck of figures have so like my leather face has come out of the box my crooked man from the conjuring this one is firmly in the box why i don't know i just don't want to get him out so yeah that is the next one this was around 50 pound i think but i'm pretty sure he done it for me for 40 because i'd bought the tiffany doll for like 200 um so yeah there's our little ghost face and then next we have another necker figure hence why the box looks quite similar i think you guys have probably seen this one when i've done my birthday haul video which was a bit crappy but i still put it on anyway but i just want to show you her in detail so i wanted her for so long she was 50 pound but i finally got her she's a little bit grabby she needs a dust i do kind of want to get her out but i also don't because i just i don't know where i can avoid it i won't get them out as you can see she's got the interchangeable hands the head that's what i love about necker you can um change things about and also the necklace is up there as well not sure if you can see i've just got out of it for a minute there's also a painting of alec in there as well which i love um so yeah she was around 50 pound they are quite pricey but honestly they're really worth it next item isn't actually a figure as such it is just a collectible so i got the terrifier um magazine this is by um i'm gonna put the name of the company on here because i always say it wrong um but yeah this is the terrifier 
new magazine that everybody's trying to get hold of at the minute i put this on tiktok and it literally went viral um everyone wanted it but this was only six pound 95 no six pound 75 if you are in the uk you can usually get it in tesco which is where i got my first one from because i do have two because i'm greedy but also wh smith salem but i'm sure you'll probably be able to get them from more places as it gets more popular and in demand so i bought one when my mum bought me one um that i opened so that is what the magazine actually looks like open i don't know what that was Oh, it's from Horicon. And inside, it's just literally all about the filming of Terrifier. It's also got some other movies in there. So, like, Smile 2, The Radleys, Interview with the Vampire, The Monsters, Salem's Lot. There's all different, um, fil like, about films and that in there. It also comes with an art card, so, like, a little poster thing, a mask. Now, some people were getting this very muddled up on TikTok, thinking it was, like, a latex mask no you're paying six pounds 75 um it is literally just a paper mask that you can cut out i haven't cut mine out i've just stuck him on the wall as a poster mm. it comes with a double-sided poster and also stickers i'm not actually sure where i've put the stickers for this one must have put them in the magazine i reckon but yeah so yeah there they are so these are the stickers that you get which is really cool i'm actually going to use these and stick them on my shelf i'm going to leave them out so i don't forget then i figured oh my god i've just opened it i bought another one just to put on my shelf and be unopened um as a collectible and i have actually met art the clown but i'm really really hoping he goes back to horicorn at some point and i should get him to sign this and then next i cannot remember for the life of me if i've shown you guys this or not um so i'm just going to show it anyway it is my little living dead doll ghost face so i got him at christmas he's a little bit dusty to be honest i don't know if you can actually take this off to wash i think you probably could so i might have to give the cape a wash but this was around 50 pounds you can get him on mad about horror um but i'm pretty sure my husband got him for me from amazon he's got a little mark there i think it could be paint <laughs> oops from when my husband painted the bedroom definitely paint i think so he's gonna have to go in the wash that will come out um but yeah he is mega cute just this teeny tiny ghost face he's got these little cute boots and i just literally i adore him he's so cute i want to get so many more living dead dolls um but yeah so that is my ghost face then the next item again not really a figure as such but it's still a collectible i've got this lost boys vhs tape and it is a genuine one as well this was from ebay it was around 10 pound um i love the lost boys i definitely need to get some more lost boys stuff in my collection but this is literally an original vhs it says 1987 warner bros on it so we have a copy of the lost boys on video i still remember my mum and dad having loads but we had um barney on vhs we had tots tv we had loads of like kiddie programs on vhs so now i've got horror ones but i definitely want to get some more i've seen a scary movie one seen a texas chainsaw one literally so many vhs's i want to get a very well loved vhs with Kiefer sutherland on the front obviously okay so next we have my little gizmo i love him so much i love gremlins i love like 80s horror as well like old school like 90s horror three hours later I was literally about to show you what he does, but he is highly sensitive. Knock him in the slightest and he moves and sings. It's the dancing gizmo. This is NECA as well. So it isn't just figures as such that they do. They do other things like this as well. He is literally one of my favourite things in my collection. I absolutely adore gremlins. So yeah, that is my little dancing. I like hardly touch that then. This is what I mean. He is very sensitive like me very sensitive like his owner anything i will say about him that's why he sits so high up on my shelf i say on the back which is quite cute remember the rules avoid bright lights don't feed them after midnight and don't ever get them wet 
So yeah, immensely cute, but highly irritating at the same time. So if you do get him, stick him high up um, and he won't go off. And if he does go off, then that's very creepy. This isn't really a horror figure as such. It's more of a spooky film figure. Um, and it is my Emily from Corpse Bride. I absolutely adore this. So this is all like my Tim Burton stuff now, if you like. You need to get Victor. Then when you open him, it creates like a love heart arch, but obviously I haven't opened Emily. I don't think I will, honestly. I absolutely love the box and the font on it and everything like that. So it isn't something I really want to open. But yeah, she was, uh, I want to say she was about £30. Pretty sure she was about £30, but she needs a dust, so we won't put her back up there yet. We're going to give her a dust before we put her back on the shelf, but there's literally dust flying everywhere. But yeah, she is absolutely beautiful. She is from Super Figure Collection. Really heard of them, to be honest. Yeah, 30 ish pound on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. And then to keep in the Tim Burton theme, we also have some Nightmare Before Christmas characters. So I do have some Disney Dorables that are out of the their box, but they're on my shelf and they're very fiddly to line up. So I'm not getting them, but they're just like little mini figures of the characters but even though i have them i still can't help myself but to buy more little mini figures of nightmare before christmas so got these these were 16.99 from b m but on here you have literally i would say all of them literally going to bore you to death now and read you all of the characters so you have pajama jack sally zero scary teddy oogie boogie jack skeleton santa jack pumpkin king uh barrel shock lock Dr. Finkelstein, Santa Claus, Behemoth, I can never say his name, Mr. Hyde, Mummy Boy, Wolfman, and Duck Toy. Um, yeah, I can't really say this geezer's name very well. Um, I know what it is, but I can't say it. So, yeah, they were, like I say, $16.99 from B&M. B&M really come through with their Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, and I'm okay with that. These are the Nano Metal Figs. So they are metal figures. I haven't opened them. I'm not opening these ones. Um, they are. They say die cast on it. I'm not entirely sure if that's the brand or if the brand is J Jada. I've no idea. So yeah, I have these little cute figures. And then next also from B&M, I have these other little figures. So you've got Jack, Sally, Santa Jack, Oogie Boogie and Zero on there as well. These are only $4.99. Again, haven't got them out of the packet because I have very similar figures on my shelf already um, out of the packet. But the Disney Dorables are a lot smaller. I didn't see the point in getting these ones out. I only tend to open my figures if I start running out of room. So I'll open the ones that... I don't prefer if that makes sense i'd rather keep the ones i really love in the packet but yeah these were 4.99 mega mega cute and i know that b&m do still have these because i saw them in there the other day so i think the last things i've got to show you because i'm pretty sure i've covered most of it is some funko pops so i have done a video of all of my funko pops and i'm pretty sure in my birthday haul you may have seen some of these but i'm not sure so i'm just going to show you the ones i think you haven't seen that makes sense the first one is this i know you guys have seen this in my birthday haul but there might be new viewers in so i just thought i'd show you this is my carrie funko pop i absolutely love the film carrie um i like the newer one i don't dislike the old one but i just i love the new one newer one my niece bought me this so it's very very special anyway but i love the fact that she's all like that i have seen you can get ones like this um but she is my only one in my collection that is neon I just love her so so much so she is one four three six if you guys are interested in getting her but i think she was around she was no more than 20 pound i can't remember exactly how much but she was from amazon so there's that one again not entirely sure if you may have seen this i'm not entirely sure but if you follow me on tiktok you would have definitely have seen all of my fungos just thought i'd show them again in case you haven't so this is my texas chainsaw one leather face and he is one 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 nine one 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 nine yeah had a little malfunction then um i love him i wanted him for so so long but he was always out of stock or the price went stupidly high every time i went to get him so 
it took me a while to get him in my collection the next one i really want is freddy krueger because i haven't got him yet and i'm really into my freddy films at the minute absolutely loving freddy never been one that i've really liked freddy krueger i don't dislike it but it's never been the films i really love but just lately i'm really into him like the other day i sat there watched nightmare on elm street the first one with johnny depp in it then i watched number two then i watched three the dream warriors and then i jumped to like obviously the 2010 one because i do like that i feel like that's really underrated anyway why the hell am i talking about this but yeah so i finally managed to get the leatherface funko and he's just absolutely great. I love him. I've actually got loads of Texas Chainsaw stuff. I never realised until I done a TikTok the other day of my collection. Because I try to put them in groups on my shelf. It's quite difficult sometimes because some things I've only got one or two things of. or And then other things I've got like five or six. So it can be quite difficult. But I do try to sort of group it together if that makes sense next one i got for christmas i'm not entirely sure if you guys have seen this i think you may have on my horror funko pops because that would have been after christmas but oh well i'm showing you anyway so i have my annabelle one again this was another one that was always out of stock um to match her i do want to get the nun as well and there's also some insidious ones which i didn't know you could get until the other day um of the red faced demon and the one from uh number three the one in number three where he's got all the tubes on him and that you can get that as a fungo pop so definitely want to get that and you can also get ed and lorraine warren so definitely want some more like paranormal um figures because a lot of my stuff is slasher which i do prefer them kind of movies anyway but i do love me some paranormal so yeah we got a little annabelle she is 790 the back of the boxes are always so nice as well which i love um but yeah this is from annabelle comes home and she is literally sat on her chair as well which is really cute so that is my Funkos that I don't think I've shown you, but I also think I've shown you. Then lastly, again, not a figure, but I just want to show you guys it in case you're interested. I got this Picture House Recommends Beetlejuice book. So it isn't all Beetlejuice. It does have all the other movies that have kind of been out this year. It's like got Deadpool in there as well. Absolutely loved Deadpool um, and I'm not a Marvel person i'm more dc if anything but i loved that film so much but it's also got like um about the joker in it the new joker film so it isn't just solely about beetlejuice but obviously the front cover has got beetlejuice on it so that's why i've got it also has inside out two on the back which i love that as well but yeah so this i don't actually know how much it was if i'm being honest um but i'm pretty sure this was from ebay i want to say no more than like a tenner i imagine it was a lot less than that but i don't actually know so i can't help you there but it's picture house recommends so if you put that in and then with the beetlejuice cover it should come up so yeah that was everything in my collection kind of updated i'm so excited for like christmas and things like that because i'm getting some really cool horror bits i also want a bit of like taxidermy and stuff i want to get some like wet specimens um some butterflies pictures i like the ones in the frame so i can't wait to do my haul i've also asked for like clothing items this year jewelry like there's going to be an assortment so i'm very excited for christmas i love christmas anyway but i love coming on here and doing my hauls and showing you guys because i love watching them kind of videos so i hope you guys like watching my videos it was just a little quick one today just to keep you guys in the loop of my horror stuff which i love very very much there was some new items in the sense of posters I got two terrifier posters at for the love of horror and i also got captain spalden one but i'm not going to show you it because the terrifier pictures are disgusting i will describe it because if you've seen terrifier you'll know exactly what i'm talking about um so from the first terrifier when art the clown puts the lady who i actually met the weekend she was so nice upside down and saws her in half i have a poster of that on my wall um and i also have another one from terrifier 2 where he does what he does to the lady in the bedroom and she's on the bed and her mum walks in and yeah it's not very nice it's very gory but yeah i got one of them posters the weekend so I obviously cannot show you that just gave you a little rough description but yeah so that was absolutely everything i am going to film a video hopefully over the weekend or maybe next week 
about my time for the love of horror in the meantime i'll upload some shorts or if you haven't already you can head over to my tiktok and give me a follow i'll pop it on the screen now that is where majority of my horror content my true crime content go i literally post daily on there so do be sure you're heading over there the more the merrier i'm nearly at 40k on there now that's a big deal to me so i'm gonna love and leave you all thank you so much for dropping in and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>